We are in game right now and Amber Highland has arrived. I am so excited to get out with you guys. I've seen a new icon for coins too. That's really exciting. Seeing new stuff is always cool. <gasps> Look at this next to Gold Island. Amber Island. Oh, and there's only six monsters at the moment. Reminds me of Sanctum. Oh, welcome to Amber. <gasps> oh my goodness, the trailer did not do the island's design justice. This is wonderful! The Ambrosial Island was a safeguard for the element of fire dating back to ancient times and is where you can use the spark of life to revitalize special vessels. All right, we've got to just get making these monsters. Menu, you can't tell me what to do today because I'm breeding them. Oh, here we are. Available for a limited time. What? Oh, how is this gonna work then? Okay, well, we have to go with Kana first because Kana is where it all began. So if we don't go with Kana, <laughs> I think we're doing a bit of an injustice to the island, aren't we? Let's go ahead and place Kana down then. They do cost relics too, we guess that. Hang on, what? The Crucible. This is how rare and epic fire monsters will come into being on Amber Island. <gasps> oh! Ooh, that's what the new structure is. Well, I was very curious behind that. That was the biggest thing for sure that I wanted to check out. Besides that, though, get out of the wet spin wheel. We oh, 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 critter, critter. <gasps> Hello, dragon. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, my goodness. Okay, right. The castle. This is the next thing that I'm curious about. Right, so this actually is called the Amber Castle instead. That's very unusual. Unsurprisingly, the castle of Amber Island is bound by the same peculiar physics of the higher plane as Gold Island's Crystal Castle and arranges itself in the same multifaceted crystalline structure as it grows skyward. What is different, of course, is the building material hardened sap from the multiverse's world tree, the Stablo Magerica, that preserves musical musings in congoluted relic form. As more relics are donated to its expansion, more our beds become available for the fire monsters of Amber Island to take up residence. So now the Amber Island cannot be upgraded past the third upgrade tier. That is so interesting. Yes, we love new mechanics. Oh, look at that. I'm growing my castle out here, guys. Get me. <laughs> it's going to grow even more, apparently, too. Oh, it's going to become like the Paradise Castle, isn't it? That's really cool. Very befitting of the island, too. We'll get some relics back, and we've got to work out how we wake up Kana. Well, not waking up. We revitalize them. Oh, my God. Kana, you want greedy thing? God. Right. In one of my old videos, I called Kana a greedy old hag when I was little. <laughs> Taking me back right now. Kana, I, I wasn't being serious inside of that video, but now you got me thinking otherwise, Kana. My god. Right, Kana. Let's get you some friends while we're here. Glowl. So these are called vessels, too, guys. So it's essentially a bit like waking up Wubblins, this. I'm so interested in what is going to go on with this, though. What's it called again? The Crucible. That is so interesting how we're going to get rares and epics differently on here. Can we just say, as well, guys, what on earth is happening with this island? It's beautiful. In comparison to the rest of them, this is just a whole other level of gorgeous. I'm in love with this design. Right. Greedy Kana. Why does Kana cost like 5,200 and then Glowl's like chilling with this? What's going on? Oh, they're including magicals too. I really like that. So it is, I think, going to be based on breeding. Let's go ahead and try and wake up Glowl first because Kana's a greedy old one, so I'll probably have to do that a bit off camera. So it's basically pretty much all of the Firehaven ones. Let's see how we do it now. I'm on Light Island and I have a feeling it's going to be different. <gasps> Zap! Oh! Pajam. Amber. Oh, okay. Well, this is a different setup to usual. Can we just point out how weird that coin symbol looks? <laughs> it looks so different to the one what we usually have. I'm not used to it. My God, guys. Kana is so greedy. The rest of them have this weird limited time thing going on too. If we go ahead and breed Bob here, I will show you what I mean by that. It looks really weird, to be honest, guys. Say, for instance, if we go on over to Glowl here, you can see that they have a 35-day countdown, but Kana is available all the time. Isn't that weird? I just find that so strange. Oh, I can't wait to wake them up, though. <laughs> They're definitely taking some to get in there, though. I think we're 200 diamonds down now. I'm 100% betting we will be needing all of our diamonds for this, though. One more flower for Glowl, and then we'll be able to wake up Glowl. Oh, there we go. Yes, we can wake up his first vessel. Oh, this is so exciting. Incubate. Okay. Oh! Uh... Oh! 
Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I like how he bounces up and down. More diamond so glow. You are being greedy. Not as greedy as Kana, though. Kana's one greedy, greedy person. There we go, glow. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh wait, the make relics? No castle sound either. Mmm, I know who's coming as the castle then. <laughs> Very proud. We do like that glow. Snizer, that's why they've not added a castle because Snizer's gonna be there. Such a quaint sound. Very thin, elegant, beautiful. I'm interested now. Come on, what else do we need? We'll place down as other statues, shall we? Let's have a look. So we've got Fangler and Flugel. We'll have a go at Fangler next. I love good old Fangler. If we're in for some Bone Island action here, we are in for a treat. I vote we get rid of some of these two as well. While we're here, save us the trouble later. I love how the obstacles are themed around Dawn of Fire. I cannot wait to read this island's description later because it's so fascinating that they're from Dawn of Fire. I'm gonna bet be careful. How many relics do we have? Oh no, I almost spent them all. Oh no, we better be careful now. Don't spend any more than what we have to. Oh, we have just enough left over to get the rest of the monsters. I'm going to place them down because I'm worried I'm going to spend the relics elsewhere now. And we need them for this. It was so lucky that I noticed that they got relics then. Oh, I would have been in for it then. Zigarab and Flugel. I think we've got... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, it's okay, it's okay. We can get around this relic issue. Hellly just though, thank god we didn't spend any more. Seeing as though they make relics though, that's certainly going to be very helpful. Actually on that topic, get making me some relics over here. Well, I'll feed yourself up. I need some good old relics. Wait, hang on. I know what we'll do. We'll make it like stuff more, then we'll get more relics. Oh, this rare monster's likes are all secret. Good luck discovering them. Game. <laughs> Am I supposed to get relics faster now? This is taking a long time. Oh my goodness, they want everything. Oh, I didn't notice that. The elements of the monsters are on the totem poles. That's really cool. Oh, the vessels. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I got that wrong. <laughs> Here we are then. The last few to finally put in them. You know, it's been a very long journey. It's been seriously about an hour since I started recording. <laughs> Banjo, there we are. So that's Fangler ready now. And then just Cantarell left for Fangler, is it? Who were you for, Cantarell? Oh, Zgram. There we are. Now we just have Kane left. This is it now. These are the last two toe jammers that I need to power up every single vessel. There we are. Oh, we can wake them all up now. Oh, revitalize. I'm never going to get used to that word. Incubating. Is that the word that we use for it? I honestly don't know. First of all, then, I say we start off with Kana, the original one which I was supposed to start off with before Kana became a greedy old hair. <laughs> there we go. I love the critter in the background. It's so lovely. Let's place you down, Kana. There we are. Ba -da -da -dum -dum -dum. Ba -da -da -dum. <laughs> oh, I think this might be Kana's favourite verse of mine so far in games. Ba -da -da -dum -dum -dum. Ba -ba -da -bum. <laughs> Fangler. Fangler's gonna add a lot to the song now. Kana was it, yes for sure, but Fangler, we love good old Fangler. They're gonna add a drop pam feel in it. <gasps> we haven't upgraded his breeding structure, guys. <gasps> How could we? We'll have to do that. Is Fangler gonna sing while I'm doing that, though? I'd be concerned that Fangler was gonna sing while I was doing that. I did it anyway, but when does Fangler sing then? Oh, it's so weird how they only I'd sing one track and then they just stop. Oh, that is quite interesting, Fangler. Not quite as catchy as Bone Island. <laughs> I think it would take a lot to beat that, certainly. Oh, I really like that, though. Oh, wow. I think it's adding up quite well so far, and I really like how the castle doesn't play. Solely just because it hints towards Snyder's returning game. I'm loving that. Flugel or Zigurab? Well, Firehaven is first, so we will have to go with Flugel, I say. <laughs> The animation is so good. Really adds a lot, I must say. I'm really surprised with how they've managed to just integrate relics into this. I think it's so clever the way that they've done it. Oh, come on then, Flugel, let's place you down. What do you sound like then, Mr. Mr. Kloops, Kloops? Calling you. Oh, no, you're playing while I'm doing <laughs> Mr. Coop Floop. No, 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 don't play, don't play while I'm... Oh, what do you sound like? Ooh. That's a different... 
That's very different for Flugol. Kane has definitely got the most cashiers fair. But when we add Yelma on here, that's when I think things will come in for the island. Yelma is definitely flawed and savior at the moment for this island, I think. Yeah, saying that though, Ziggurat probably will add a lot of instruments to it. So I'm probably betting that Ziggurat will also be a pretty epic addition there. Oh wait, oh I didn't notice that. That's so clever. The stones resemble Kana's hands. Because of Dawn of Fire, Kana usually puts the hand up in the air. That is clever. What can you sell it for? Just purely out of interest here. 10 relics. I would never have to spend in all those diamonds. Especially after greedy old Kana. Look at her over here. Now this is a ball. Yeah. Zero it. How Flugel jumps up in the air too like that. Oh, that is everything. These animations are really good. So much better. I'm really surprised because I wouldn't have expected for the animations to get even better since the Magical Islands. But look at them here. So fluid and wonderful. Wow. This is adding up to be really something right now. One monster left. I, I do and I don't want to wake them up. I don't want this to end. It's been so wonderful. I think it's adding up quite well. I'm really excited to see what Yelma adds to it now because Flugel and Zigurab are a bop. Then there's no other way to put it. Yelmo! Ah, here we go! Let's open your egg, Yelmo. Oh, you're so big! Yeah! <laughs> Yelmo, I love you so much. Let's place you down. Oh, Yelmo, we're finally here! Oh, it's been so long, Yelmo. Since we've seen you. Oh, we're putting you down now, Yelmo. Yelmox. Come on, Yelmo squad. We're with the Yelmo squad here. <laughs> Zegra, I've looked up then like, whoa, this guy's big. Whoa. Come on, Yelmo. I can't wait any longer. If you have me wait. Model to the beat, Yelma. That's it. It honestly sounds a bit like a remix, this, of the continent. Is that the kind of vibe we're getting with this island? Or perhaps I'm just going off of Yelma's sound. I definitely am going off of Yelma's sound. It definitely sounds very similar to the continent. Nothing wrong with that, though. I'm in love with this. Zigarab is as Lord and Saviour, though. I mean, Yelma, obviously, is our Lord and Saviour because... Yelmo. But Zigrab for the song right now is doing so much in Flugol. Gotta say, I really like what's going on here. But let's check out what Yelmo's about. Don't let the diminutive size of the Yelmo fool you. It's a quad element monster and has the pipes to prove it. That said, the monster often takes full advantage of its pint-sized stature and gelatinous body to squeeze through cracks and crevices you would never expect for it to fit through. The only thing that Yelmo has to be mindful of is not attempting to squeeze through any space in which its decorative head <laughs> gets stuck. Don't you dare call it a hat now. Still a touchy subject. If I ever have ever have offended you, Yelma, I am deeply sorry. Well, guys, that is the Amber Island. How exciting is that? We're going to be discovering new fire monsters in the future. It definitely is a very long process getting the fire monsters into the nursery, but it's so worth it and I'm excited to see where this island does go. Look at it, it's beautiful. And I think we might be in for a good one with this one. We'll have to wait and see, but right now I'm interested what this structure might do. We'll have to wait and see on that one though, won't we guys? But now though, if you enjoyed this, please do make sure to leave a like down below and to subscribe too, guys. I will see you later until we discover more fire monsters. I'll see you later, guys. Bye!